Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. For today's video, we're going to be talking about skin tints, tinted moisturizers, and just light coverage products in general. And since I had so many different products to review in this video, I figured it would be the most helpful if I did them in a tier list. So I've done a tier list video on my channel before, and I love watching these from other creators. I know Jamie Page does a lot of these with like skin tints and cream products and just different categories. And I always think they're very helpful as a viewer. So I figured that would be the best format for this video. So if you happen to be new here, my name's Kelly. I love light coverage products. I love skin tints, tinted moisturizers. They are my jam. So let's hop into the reviews. So most of the products I'm gonna be talking about I have in front of me right now, but there are a few that I've either used up or decluttered. So for those, we'll just pop photos up. So let's talk about the categories here. So for that tip top spot, I'm naming that my holy grail. Those are like my most reached for, like that's the best it gets. But not everything can be holy grail, so right underneath that, I'm calling that big fan. Those are the ones that I like, that I reach for often, that I recommend, but they're not quite my holy grail. And then we kind of have the middle of the road foundations. These are gonna be the so-so category. And then in the lower half, we've got not a fave. And then for like the worst of the worst, I've got big fail. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, I don't know if any are gonna be like big fail. We'll see, we'll see. Let's start off with one that I've actually used up and that's the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk. So personally, I really enjoyed this one. It has a, light, a nice light coverage, but you can build it up a little bit. The texture is pretty thin and the finish is pretty natural, leaning dewy. This is a foundation that is super polarizing. People either love it or hate it. I fell into the love it category, but it's not my like tip top favorite ever, but I obviously liked it enough that I completely used it up. So I'm gonna put this in the big fan category. It's not a holy grail. I went back and forth, I'm like, is it so-so or am I a big fan? But I completely used it up. It's like, obviously I really liked it. I used it on its own and I also love it for mixing. But I know a lot of people had a bad experience with that foundation and I know specifically a lot of people had like a reaction to it. So I always try to note that, but personally I really liked it. So I'm gonna say big fan. Sticking with ones I don't have in front of me right now, let's do the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I have an unpopular opinion on this. Actually, you know what? I would say this is another one that's kind of polarizing, similar to the skin milk. With this one, I've heard a lot of people that adore this, but I don't feel like I'm totally alone. I've also heard a lot of people that don't like this. I found it to be just a little bit too thick and heavy and makeup-y. This is even one, like, it's not a skin tint for sure, but they kind of describe it as more of like a natural finish foundation. So I figured it fit into this style of video. Personally, I did not like it. I did not keep it for long before decluttering it. I didn't like the way that it wore and I just found it to be too heavy on the skin. It just made my skin almost look worse than if I had nothing on because it just looked too makeup-y. So I'm not... Mm. I don't know that it's a big fail. I feel like this one is just gonna stay in the not a fave category. And one more that I don't have right now because I decluttered is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. This one I found to be quite similar to the e.l.f. in terms of like the finish on the skin, but it had lower coverage than the e.l.f. Again, this was one that I just didn't find made my skin look better. Like a lot of times I would wear it, I would think, wow, this looked better before foundation because it just was a little bit more thick than I personally like. That being said, I know so many people that swear by that one, but for me, I did not, I didn't even keep it. I put it in not a fave. Okay, getting to this big pile in front of me right here. Let's go to one that I adore. This is from Flower Beauty. This is the Get Real Serum Foundation. This is definitely the most liquidy out of anything I'm gonna talk about today. It, the consistency is like slightly thicker than water, but that's exactly what I like out of a skin tint. Oh, I did have the skin tint from Undone, which I thought about throwing in this video, but they reformulated it and I had the old formula, but I used that one up totally. This Flower Beauty one, love the price point, love the finish on this. It's very dewy, but it's not like so, it's not in the sweaty category of dewy. It's like the glowy kind of dewy that you want. I would say it has one of the lower wear times out of everything we're talking about today, but I think that just has to do with like the texture and the coverage, but because of that, I don't really mind because it fades very gracefully. So this is going in the holy grail category. Like this is my tip top favorite skin tint. This is one I highly recommend. Really the only downside for me is that the cap, 
once you've had it for a while, the pump can get clogged a little bit and it kind of shoots out product, so it can get messy after a while, but I'm sure if I just cleaned this out, that would probably solve the problem. Okay, this one is kind of hard for me to rank. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. The difficult part for me is that I really loved this in the beginning, but I feel like the formula is changing on me quickly, which always seems to happen with ColourPop products for me. That brand seems to have like the shortest shelf life for their products. And let me know if you feel the same way, but whenever I have a ColourPop product, I feel like it goes bad so fast. And that's what I feel like happened with this. So when I first got this, the way I would have described it would be big fan, but I'm gonna have to put it in so-so because the last few times I've worn it, I feel like it's not sitting very well on the skin. And just in general, their products, especially like their lipsticks, when I used to buy a ton of those back in the day, they just go bad very quickly. Not that you're supposed to have makeup for too, too long, but this one is just okay. I think there are others on my list today that I would recommend over this. Let's talk about my newest. This is the Say Slip Tint. I picked this one up recently from Sephora. I do like this quite a bit. It has a really, really healthy finish to it. That's how I would describe it. It's not like smoothing, it's not perfecting, but it makes your skin look like this radiant, healthy glow. Coverage again, definitely in the light category. I would not say that it builds and the texture of this can get like somewhat thick. So definitely more like tinted moisturizer as opposed to skin tint consistency. This one I'm going to say is so-so. If I had a category right in between, this is like so-so and a half. Like it's not quite big fan, but like it's a little bit better than so-so. I don't know that you need to run out and buy this and my biggest downside for it is that it tends to pill. So you have to be pretty particular about how you prep your base underneath. So depending what products you put under it, you can get really bad pilling with this. So with all of that in mind, I don't think I could put it in the big fan, but I would say it's so-so. Like I like it, but I don't know that you need to run out and buy it, but I'll probably try to use it all up. Okay, I debated if this went in this category or not, but this is the Bite Beauty Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. Now, this is definitely a higher coverage than most of the products we're gonna talk about today, but because it's so similar to like the concept of that ELF CC cream or even like the IT Cosmetic CC cream, I figured we could sneak it into the video. I think any additional reviews are always helpful. So I'm gonna put this in, but just know it's not as light coverage as these other products. I would say this is medium buildable. I love this. I really, really love this. It has a scent, which is kind of a downside to it, but this has the most beautiful satin finish to it. Even the texture, like it just is so smooth and soft on the skin. I would say it kind of leans a little bit more matte when it sets down, but I do have dry skin, so that might be part of it. If you have oily skin, you might completely disagree with me, but I find that this formula, you can kind of adjust based on your primer. So if you want a glowier finish, just prep with glowier products. I'm like, is this holy grail? Is it big fan? I think it's just big fan. I, I did put this in my 2020 favorites last year at the end of the year as my favorite foundation of the year and I still think it's very good. I would say I have some other foundations I like a little bit more than this now, but I still think this is a fantastic foundation. This one you don't hear about often, but this is from the brand The Lip Bar. I adore them. I talk about them frequently. The Lip Bar is a black owned indie brand. You can buy them at Target, Walmart, or on their website, or they do have a store in downtown Detroit, which is where they were started. And this is called the Just a Tint 3-in-1 Tinted Skin Conditioner. Now, there aren't a ton of shades in this but the brand even with their products where they don't have a large number of shades they always make sure to have a nice gradient so there aren't any skips every like everything is very evenly distributed which i appreciate that being said i do have the lightest shade which is my fair lady and as you can see it's not incredibly light so i would say only if you have a light skin tone would this work for you if you're fair I don't think there would be a shade that would work, unfortunately. This does have SPF 11. Also, to reiterate the SPFs, um, nothing had it except for the Say has SPF 35. I would never rely on just this, especially at only 11, but it is a nice extra bonus. You know, extra protection is always nice. This is a really pretty, like, light coverage product. Again, I would say... Like a lot of these more light coverage skin tints, they don't wear as well as like a fuller coverage, heavier duty foundation, but 
the difference is that they fade better. So if you have on an, an extreme coverage foundation and it's starting to get to like the 10, 12 hour mark, it can like really start to break apart. I don't really find that to be the case with most skin tints and light coverage products just because there's not a ton there to begin with. They just kind of fade very gracefully. That's definitely the case with this one. You get a nice dewy finish. I'm gonna say, I'm like, is it so-so or big fan? So-so or big fan? I think I'm gonna put it in big fan. I love that it's a drugstore price point. I think it looks beautiful. I do enjoy it. Okay, the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac. Now, here's the thing, you guys. When I first got this, I was not a big fan of it, but it is growing on me. And I think part of the reason is that I've kind of gotten my skin under control. And I think that's really important for me to note because when I was first testing this, I was I had just moved to New York and I was struggling with a lot of acne right after moving, but I've mentioned a million times now, I am on a prescription for tretinoin, which is a topical um, retinoid. And so with that, I've gotten all of like the acne on my forehead. I mean, knock on wood actually, but it's worked better. So because of that, I'm starting to like this again, but I wanted to note that because I would say if you do struggle with acne, especially like dryness around your acne, I don't think this wears well with that. It would like um, kind of peel near my breakouts, separate near my breakouts. But now that my skin is like a little bit clearer, I'm actually liking this more and you might be surprised, but I think I'm gonna put it in big fan. But again, I want to note all of that because if you are struggling with acne or texture, I don't think this wears well over it. But these days I'm liking it more. Again, not, not the longest wear time, but I do think it looks really beautiful. It's extremely dewy, like almost too dewy. But if I pair it with a mattifying primer, I like it more. So this I kind of did a 180 with. I'm liking it a lot more these days. It's still not holy grail status, but I think it's just above a so-so for me. Okay, I'm hoping I didn't forget anything, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you agree or disagree with these rankings and let me know which skin tints, tinted moisturizers, and light coverage foundations you recommend. I'll go ahead and see you guys in my next one. Bye.